the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. First Timothy again, 2-4. Who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth? You want to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen? You want to. I hope you do. I really do. So when we get down to Black History Month, this is what Black History Month. Black History Month is an annual celebration of the achievement of African Americans and a time of recognizing their central role in the U.S. history. That's what that's what Black History Month is about. It's about trying to show all the success that they, they have contributed to this country. Because if you think about it, a lot of, of our history does not talk about the contributions of African Americans in this country. In reality, African Americans played just as much and done just as much as anybody else. And you can sit there, I know you want to think different, but that's 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 why you should listen to hit Black History Month so you can see what the contributions they have made. What is an African? Because we call ourselves, this Black History Month, and we call ourselves African Americans. What is an African? Well, we know what American is. I hope you do. But let's say, what is an African? An African is a native or inhabitant of Africa, a person, especially a Black person of African ancestry. That's when we talk about African American. So when we talk about Black History Month, we're talking about African American Month. Okay? All right. What is Egypt? Why I'm talking about Egypt? Because the, that's what Abraham, uh, that's what Jacob, that's what Israel did when they left Ur of Chaldeas. They came all the way and ended up in what we call today Egypt. So what is Egypt? Egypt is a country in the northeastern Africa on the Mediterranean Sea. That is Egypt. In Genesis 15, 13, this is what God said to Abram. This is before he was called Abraham. We call Abram. He said, and he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. So they left and came into Egypt. A land that's not theirs. They didn't come from Europe, though. They came from the Middle East, all right? They came from Asia, uh, basically, into Egypt, all right? 75 of them, and I'll show you the scriptures. <sighs> Exodus 20, 40. Now, the soldier of the children of Israel, who dwelt in Egypt, all that, was 430 years. And it came to pass at the end of 430 years, even the self same day it came to pass, that all the hosts of the Lord went out of the land of Egypt. Now, it, it, just, just to make sure you, you, you're tracking with me, I, just in case you're not tracking with me, you, if you come to America, right, uh, you, 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 what they call that mountain pot really supposed to be a solid bowl because really is a solid bowl. That's what it'd rather be anyway. We're not a melting pot because we're not trying to make everybody melt and look the same. We, we want to be a solid bowl. But the point is that if you come to this country and you be in the United States for 400 years, just like the Europeans, uh, just like the Africans, just like uh, people from South America, Canada, anywhere else, you stay here 400 years, uh, you, you, you eventually will not look like a Canadian or an African or European. You, you, you will not talk like them. You will not have the same culture like them. You will most likely take the culture that you lived in for 400 years. But that, that we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and track that down for you. So they were there for four. That's a long time, people. I don't know if you know that. And he married among them, right? You know, Joseph, remember Joseph married an Egyptian woman? Abram, Moses married an Ethiopian woman. 
but the fact is that they they there were a lot of interracial marriages or ethnic group marriages uh, throughout mankind. But the point is that they they basically had different relationship regardless of where they came from. And these people was in the Egypt. They was in Africa for 400 years. You come an African if you be there that long. Uh, I just I just just in case you didn't know that you 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 are Africans if you're in Egypt for 400 some years. All right. He said in Genesis 46, 26, all the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, Africa, which came out of the lines besides Joseph's son's wives, all the souls were three score and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, in Africa, that's, 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 just in case you didn't know that, I'm going to show you a map later, but Africa is, Egypt is in Africa, okay? Was two souls, all the souls of the house of Jacob which came into Egypt were three scores and 10, which equals a total of 75 people, 70 to 75 people. That's the number of people that went into a nation, a country uh, 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 in Africa. Uh, and when they kept, by the time they came out, it was almost 2 million. And I guarantee you 75 people didn't make 2 million. 75 people mixed with Africans, uh, had marriages and everything else with Africans. And then they left Africa. Uh, just in case you didn't know that, just, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know that and I know that, but let me go ahead and show that to you. I'm sorry I didn't bring it. I wasn't even showing it. Let me go ahead and share it with you so that you can read it for yourself. You can go to the scriptures. It's not deep. I ain't trying to give you nothing new. I ain't trying to give you something hidden. I'm just trying to give you the scriptures. So back to this again, Exodus 12, 40. Now the soldier, the children of Israel, who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. And it came to pass at the end of 430 years, even the self same day it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out of the land of Egypt, Africa. Genesis 46, 26, all the souls that came with J Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his lion, besides Jacob's son's wives, all the souls were three scores and six. And it's the sons of Joseph, which were born in Africa, in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were three scores and ten, which equals about 70 to 75 people. That's, that's all I want to be able to put on that. I mean, just want to let you see that, okay? So uh, that almost said, and said, okay, they were in Africa for 400 years. What, what, what are they after 400 years? You tell me. What are they after 400 years? What do you think they are after 400 years? If they married Egyptians, if they married Africans, what do you think they are after 400 years? Well, let, me, let me give you a clue. They are Africans. Not, not to be that, not to be negative or anything else. But I'm saying this is Black History Month. We're talking about African Americans, right? We're talking about the fact is that the people that's even in the Bible, the people that went to Egypt, you could if you could, could tell us. If you could tell me otherwise, I'd be I'm glad to hear it. But you 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 went into a country that was much you only came up with a few for 75 people. You left the Af the the the, the Israelis, the Hebrews, left. Egypt with a number of almost 2 million people. Matter of fact, they became so large that the Egyptians enslaved them out of fear. They're all Africans, you know. I mean, like I said, Moses married an Ethiopian woman. Where's she from? Africa. Joseph married an Egyptian. Where's she? An African. Those, those are the children that ink, that mix with all the, uh, and then, you know, they, and they put them in slavery for 400 years. You, you know how, you know, what happens to people in slavery, right? I think you do. I know you do. But let's just remember that. So, so that's the reason why I put the people in the Bible, using Black History Month to talk about the people in the Bible so that you can see it. And, and don't try to, don't try to sit there and, and well, I don't want to read it. Read it because you want to know. 
knowledge is power. And you want to have the power to be able to recognize the power of God over the power of man and the deceptions of man, right? But I do want to, I went in a play uh, last night in the play, they, they, they had a, a black character and a white character. The black character said that Jesus was, Jesus Yeshua was black. And the, the woman said, no, Jesus Yeshua was Jesus was white. And did you know, after doing a research of it, you know they were both right? And somebody could say, oh, what are you talking about? Let me get off this. Let me get off. I'll come back on a second. Some of you said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? How can both of them be right? Who is based on based on one biological and one is political? One is biological, one is political. If you come from a region consistent of people of color, not European, I guarantee that much, not European, but people of color. And that's where you said, you know, you said, they said uh, the bathroom was for color people <laughs> and the bathroom for white people. So white people are from European, Europe, right? So Europe, right? Well, the Egypt, Africa is in Africa and Africa is not Europe. And the people in Egypt, are not a people of color, but our country officially, with no authority, of course, but 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 categorize that people from the north part of Africa and in the Middle East are considered labeled white. That's what they that's what they say. I hope you can hear me. I hope you do. I hope I don't use my sound thing. Let me let me check that sound thing real quick anyway. Let me check it again. I don't want to make sure I lose my sound. Cause I don't want to say that. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> I can hear that. I think you can too. Testing one, two, three, testing. Okay, it's still working. I just want to make sure I want to go make sure you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Is the fact is that politically, the the young lady in the play that was white was right when she said Jesus was white politically biologically the african american man was correct he was black or a person of color all right so let's go and show what what i mean when i when i said that this you know the whole thing about teaching and studying is to get 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 this information just get the information so you can see for yourself so where did that saying that yeshua was white come from well look at this the u.s census sees Middle Eastern nerds and North African people, people from Africa, as white. Many don't, but we say in the census sees Middle Eastern and North African people as white. Many don't though, but this is what this guy wrote. He said that, many don't. The country officially, official policy is that they're white. It says here, federal government standards require the U.S. Census. This is the federal government's standards require the U.S. Census to count people with roots in the Middle East or North Africa as white. But a new study finds many people of middle, mid, you know, uh, Middle Eastern and North Africa descendants do not see themselves as white. So I just wanted to know, uh, just like if somebody gave me the, their status, that color, uh, I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't, it doesn't match. But it's, it, it's good enough so that people can say that, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying when a young lady at the play said it. She said it because of the, the census. Maybe she didn't know it because of the census. Maybe she didn't know it because of the history books, but because of the census, all right? But many, but a new study find many people from the Middle East and North Africa descendants not see themselves as white. Neither do many white people. So it's not only uh, the people from the Middle East, but also white people don't see people from the Middle East or North Africa as people of color. Okay. Look at this note. There's a reality about race in the U.S. that has confounded many people of Middle Eastern and North African descent. The federal government officially categorized people with origins in Lebanon, Iran, 
Egypt and other countries in the Middle East and North Africa region as white. That's the official position of our country. All right. Why they did that, but they, they I, I think we all know why they did it, but that's, that's irrelevant. The fact is they did that. Okay. So when I talk about that play again, the young lady was right. And the black African male was right as well. You know, one's biological, one is political. There's a lot of, a lot of y'all don't even know. Let me come off this real quick. A lot of you don't even know that the, when you talk about the slave trade and everything else, it was referring mostly to Africans that was captured and brought here. But there were people of color in Europe. Some of you saw that new TV show or movie or thing called Bridgerton, you know, where the, the Duke was, was, was an African European. I guess that's the title you want to call it. He was a Duke. The, the, the king of England was married to a woman of color. Uh, many people in our history books are people of color, but the status is given to them as white. You see what I'm saying? Just like the same status they give people from North Africa and Middle East, if our country said that they are white, that means that's the status they give them. That's not their skin color, that's just the status they give them. People that came from Europe. There's many people of color in Europe that came here too, and they were people of color, but they had the status of white. So you can politically give somebody a, a, a you call it skin color, but it's not a skin color, it's a status. Uh, you have to call it a status. You can't call it anything else. Correct? You look up and tell you. You tell me. But if you try to tell me people of color didn't come from England, and you're going to tell me that or, or, or Europe, and you try to tell me they came as slaves, they didn't come as slaves. They came as free men to this country. And there's some of those. That's why some of the people we know actually of color owned slaves as well, because they were free men. And don't forget people who actually bought themselves out of slavery. They were considered free men or white. The Africans who came here on cargo ships mostly were people of slaves. Okay, just they're black or colored. Okay, now let's go back to this right here. Like I said, this is this is good teaching for, or at least for me anyway. May not for some people, but I think it's good period for all of us to to get a clue. Please. Just study for yourself. You come back with the right information if you can. Take it to your history teacher if you want to. I think they're going to come tell you the truth too. There's a difference. Sometimes when we say white, we're not talking about skin color. We're talking about status. All right. Look at this right here. But that was coming from the other slide. Uh, but the racial identity has not matched discrimination in housing at work and through other parts of the daily lives that many say they have faced. Just in case the the cutoff when I do the slide was, was off, let's see if I go back one so we can see what I was talking about. I'll go back up here. I was reading down at the bottom of the slide. It said, there's a reality about race in the United States that's confounded many people in the men in, of Middle Eastern or North African descent. The federal government officially categorized people with origins in Lebanon. Look at that. Gaddafi and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, what's Gaddafi? I forgot where you know by. I will get it later. Uh, we got Lebanon. We got Iran. The Iranians are the people we really want to uh, address and say, hey, look, you guys trying to get those nuclear weapons. Well, they want to give you that you have nuclear weapons. Man. You're crazy. Anyway, uh, Egypt, that's Africa. All these are Middle Eastern or African countries, Egypt and other countries in the mid, Middle Eastern and North African region as white. That's, that's what they uh, have given them, categorized them, see, as a status, not back to skin color. So a lot of the people that are solely focused on skin color, if solely try to demonize people's skin color, you need to understand our government official policy is that if we if we give them the status of white, regardless of the skin color, you don't you're not gonna do something to them because we're gonna guarantee you that you will be, well, some cases, you will be uh, tried and convicted because you just 
dissing to somebody that was status given as white. Just, just remember that. But here's other slides though. But that racial identity has not matched the discrimination housing at work and through other parts of daily life that many say they have faced. Young, younger people from Middle East and, and North, North Africa is said have had problems of different experiences that made them feel that some of their experiences were actually closer to the community of color in the United States. Says Nida, and his name is Maad Bolahi. I mean, you know, I spelled, I broke it all up, okay, you know. <laughs> anyway, an associate professor of psychology, psychology at the University of Toronto who has conducted research on the topic. The paradox has been hard to show through data, but a newly released study co-authored by this young man offers suggestive evidence that a majority of people from Middle Eastern and North Africa origins do not see themselves as white. Meanwhile, a substantial percentage, substantial percentage of white people do not identify as mid, mid, Middle Eastern, North African, or Latinos do not perceive Middle Eastern, North African people as white either, the study also suggests. Uh, so that's, that's as we deal with Black History Month, which really means People of Color Month. And, and in this case, we're talking mostly people from Africa uh, or Middle East. Uh, they may have a category, but they all came, all identified uh, if you go to the, they all identified as Africans or people of color. And the discrimination, everything that goes with that has been something that our country still will continue to work with. But that's just, that's how life is. Uh, here's a pictures of Middle Eastern people. And you can see the, the, the dark tan. Some of them, I, there's some that are actually really as dark as me, obviously. And, uh, then here's a picture of Europeans, and you can see these people could, until they open their mouth, could pass as Americans until they open their mouth. Then you realize, oh, that person ain't from here. <laughs> but they still have, you know, the complexion of what we call white today. So you can see the difference. There's a heavy tan on the left and a very light color complexion on the right. That's, I wanted to show those pictures on that to show you the difference. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Historical appearance. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me come off that for a second because there was a picture. That picture I just had was me. That's how I uh, do my little uh, make the slide for the day. But I wanted to let me come off of that while we're talking. Excuse me. I'm going to look at that. I want to bring it up because I want to bring the. Uh, the map I wanted to show you that's on here. Uh, I think you'll like this map map. So let me go back and I'll bring it back up. Excuse me, sorry about that. You know, one technician got to do it all, but that's okay. That's what life is all about, right? It's all about the study. It's the content of the study is more important, right? So let's go here and look at this. I just wanted to show you just in case so we can all stay together. Cause sometimes we got to look at a map picture to see what we're talking about and use that in your study use that in your research you see right here the white arrow right here is pointing toward Europe so there's there's Spain France Italy there's uh, Portugal okay and like I said there's the European there's the Black Sea there's Russia that's up in Europe here's the Middle Eastern pieces here you got Turkey, right? You got Syria where the conflicts are going on. You got Iraq, you got Jordan, and then you got Israel in here, right? And then you got Africa, which is connected to Israel because they're based on the same continent. Somebody said, well, they build a canal. Well, you, the canal is what they use to split that, that off the continent of Africa, but that's really Africa. But that's okay. I mean, the point I like, like in fact, look at the distance. They were in Egypt and they traveled to Israel. 
which is connected to Egypt. You can walk to it, right? Uh, and Middle East is not a continent. So the even Israel, either you want to put it, you can either put it in Asia or you can put it in Africa. Uh, based on the connectivity and connection to it, that's really look more like the continent of Africa. But that's, that's, that's here there. The point is that these people are people of color, you know? So when you're talking about the water fountains and the, the, the people of color uh, bathroom and the people, the white bathroom, we're talking about these people here in this region, when we used to have who sits in the back of the bus, who uh, drinks what for what water fountain, these people are people of color from this region over here. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.